Of the 400,000 children in orphanages or foster care, more than 100,000 have special needs. The average age of a child waiting to be adopted is seven years old. 29% of them will spend at least three years in foster care. After having given birth to three perfectly healthy young sons, uh, we realized that we'd like to have a daughter. And uh, the first child that we um, encountered available for adoption was Linda. She had Down syndrome. And at eight months of age, she was adorable. And it never occurred to us that there was anything different about adopting this child than adopting a child who had no problems whatsoever. So we went and saw, saw her and decided to adopt Linda. And uh, that started the whole ball rolling. <laughs> at first it was hard. I meant you had to get into, you might say a groove, to learn how to take care of all the kids while they were small. Uh, we all worked at it together. Things were hard, things were, the days were long, but they were also very joyous and we wouldn't have traded it for anything in the world. To be part of this family is great. Having my brothers and sisters with me was never boring. Uh, in those days, that was 1992, we found a, a beautiful campus that, that served all of our children in one week so that we could get total respite and uh, the kids were safe and had all their needs met. There were a lot of young people, there were a lot of older experienced people, there were a lot of nurses. Our realizations that there are people out there who are willing to give of their time and their lives and their love and their resources and spend some time at camp and spend some time being a friend to these uh, very special people who, uh, who need an outside experience and who need to be away from mom and dad and gain some maturity and gain some unusual experiences, some unusual things to do that they would not ordinarily get at home. It's always just surprising. It's always a joyful thing to us to realize that other people can love them as much as we do. The one thing that we really want for all our children is that they be able to stay together, that they be able to stay happy in a stable environment, that they be able to continue to have fun, that they be able to continue to learn, and that they continue to, to make headway in life as all adults do. VOS to me means that the kids get to go to a place that they are well taken care of and they have a lot of fun and learn new things to do and they also bring it back home and enjoy what they have learned at VOS to do at home and, and just enrich their lives better. At VOS I think it's a great atmosphere for the kids. It's um, very inviting, um, very happy for them. I see the looks on their faces when they tell me they're about to get ready to go to camp. Over the years, we have had various experiences in, in, in different years with our ability to send our kids to VOS West simply because of finances. The scholarship program has always been vital. For our children to be able to experience things that normal, uh, mainstream children and young adults experience is vital. It keeps them from being isolated. It, um, it gives them uh, a richness of life, and in reverse, it also educates the mainstream population about how, quotation marks, normal 
our, our people are and how they can participate, that comes back to us in even more enjoyment in life. The aura of magic that has been there for so many years, there's been so many good experiences. And it's, um, it's hard to explain that that's, that's a very special place. They have been going for 25 years and looking forward to every year. As soon as they come home, they want to know if we can schedule the next year. I certainly hope we will be there for another 25 years. I'm going to be marking those socks for another 25 years.